Students try to make the snail cam a really a lot harder than it really is. And honestly, a lot of people get messed up with this um, because even the Project Lead the Way people did not um, do a perfectly formed spiral, if you look at this picture carefully. Um, so if we're going to make a volute, which is the fancy smancy word for a spiral shape, uh, it's also a shell that it's named after, we need to first go to Inventor, all right, and then we're going to start a 2D sketch. And it's actually really, really easy to get laid out. So first you're going to need our two circles, one inside of the other, so they are concentric. So two circles. And then we're going to lay in that line. So if we look over here, we have this vertical line here. So we're going to lay in the vertical line between the two. And then that starts our shell. And so then we'll go to the arc and we'll lay in just the arc from this circle to this circle. And then what we're going to do is at some point it's going to be tangent. And you can see it pop up as I get close. If it doesn't do that automatically, get it close and then go back and apply your constraints. But normally it, applies, it shows up. So go ahead and make it tangent. And then this is where the, so you have everything you need now. And this is where the magic happens. We go and trim away what we don't need, which is that portion of that circle and the entirety of the inner circle. And we have our volute. All right, so all you have to do is now go back in and put in your 3 16th circle here. And I didn't make it to any particular size, so you're going to have to go ahead and do that. So you can go in, go into your function, <coughs> your parameters, set up a couple of user parameters because they want you to set up a least radial dimension and a greatest radial dimension. And that's what's going to drive everything. And then you can set up your um, parametric modeling equations for quarter D and a half of the diameter. And that's going to be of the greatest dimension. Um, because if you look here, so here's the greatest dimension, the least radial dimension is actually going to be set up to the one quarter D if you pay attention there. All right, so you're, it's going to be driven by the greatest radial dimension. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. See you.